beautiful singers. All of you want to be my American Idol. <laughs> you may be seated. You may be seated. I always like, I grew up as a Catholic, so I like saying, you may be seated. You may be seated. Let us proclaim the mystery of the faith. Pretty incredible band, a uh, bunch of young guys who worked uh, really, really hard to make what they do seem easy, and it surely is not. Uh, this first young man is uh, from New York City, and uh, he's of Haitian descent, and uh, when the earthquake hit Haiti, he was one of the first people to actually go down and work in relief for the people that he cared about. And I think it's a way to ask him if he's fair, but please welcome Mr. Sean Cox, everybody. to a young Cam Neely, does he not? <laughs> Next up, from Seattle, Washington, uh, a young, really great musician uh, who we're also simply really proud of. Uh, before the tour started, his beautiful wife and himself had their first baby boy, uh, named Aww. Liam. Aww. Please welcome Mr. Jumani Smith, everyone. If he let his hair go a little bit, great work. Exactly. <laughs> Next up from Albuquerque, New Mexico, is a young gentleman who's never been with a woman before. He, he could if he had wanted to. But the thing is, he's just a gem. He's a real gem. He's like, he's like if you, you could compare him to the Edward Cullen character from the Twilight movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, you, he sits with a girl, and the girl is saying to him, <sighs> And he is looking across at her, and he's saying, I love you so deeply, I just don't feel like you're ready. <laughs> he likes long walks on the beach, Daniel Steele novels. <laughs> Mr. Justin Ray! Slut. <laughs> he would screw everything that wasn't nailed down here, I promise you. <laughs> I don't know how many children he's got, but I know he's got children everywhere. <laughs> I'm not messing around. If you're a lady who's hit menopause, then feel safe, because you're safe. But if you haven't, if you haven't got there yet, then don't look at him in the eye when he plays a solo. Because you would think to yourself, what could possibly happen if I just look at him in the eye while he plays a solo? Go ahead, look at him in the eye. Hundred bucks says two weeks from now you're gonna be sitting with your girlfriends and you're gonna say, oh my god, I think I'm late. I do not play favorites uh, as, a, as a friend or a boss. Next up is my totally number one favorite guy in the band from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Texas. 
He really hates them too. <laughs> Up next is a young gentleman that we call Sex on a Stick. <laughs> the friends call him Le Salem. In the Middle East, they call him Mahalama. <laughs> Which means the sex panther. <laughs> Proving that big, big things can come in small packages. <laughs> Please welcome Rob. The hard job works. <laughs> Him, that guy over there, and me, the little Buble Sale. <laughs> Last but not least is a, a really great young guy uh, who, uh, this is awesome. You guys like baseball here too, right? <laughs> this is awesome. At 16 years old, he had a fastball clocked at 91 miles per hour, which is pretty unbelievable. He was being scouted by a bunch of AAA teams, uh, and uh, he decided at that age that he would give up baseball to pursue his dream of playing the saxophone because he thought that it would get him more ladies. <laughs> I always picture it with his parents going, like, Yes, mother, yes, father.